Hi everyone. It doesn't matter which application you run on your Linux server. If you need to troubleshoot, a log file will almost always be the first place you start. The problem is, log files can contain a lot of information that you do not actually need. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the awk utility to extract and manipulate log files to find exactly what you are looking for. I'm going to use random log entries but the principle will always remain the same. So let's get started. Let's take a look at the following example. This is a line from an Apache error log which contains a mod security error. Now it's relatively easy to find what you are looking for in this line. But what if you have a hundred or a thousand similar lines and you're only looking for the IP address? This is where the awk utility comes in very handy. Let's look at the basic command for displaying certain columns. I first clear my screen and then type awk, opening apostrophe, opening curly bracket, print, dollar one, closing curly bracket, and closing apostrophe. So the above command will simply print the first column in a string as specified by $1. If you wanted to print column 2, it will be $2, column 3 will be $3, and so on. I've added some dummy data to a test log file for training purposes. Let's take a look. We'll cat my test file. And as you can see, there's a lot of data in this log file. Let's use the OR command to print out only the first column. We'll get the file again and we'll pipe it to org, apostrophe, opening bracket, print, dollar one, closing bracket, closing apostrophe. You can see that this prints the first column only of each log entry specified by $1, which is exactly what we wanted. The opening bracket and day is seen as the first column, but we are looking for, for the IP address column, which is in position 8. So if you count the columns, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now let's see if this works. We'll take the same command, but instead of $1, we'll do $8. We now have a list of IP addresses in this log file. I'm going to show you some other commands which can narrow this down even more. For example, there's a bracket at the end of the IP address. We can remove that bracket by using the cut command. I will do a detailed tutorial on cut at a later stage. For now we will use it to simply remove the bracket at the end. To do this, we will use the same command as before and just add cut to the end. So pipe cut dash d and the closing bracket and then dash f1. Let me explain the cut command options. Dash D is for delimiter, which in this case is the closing bracket. Let's say for example that there was a semicolon at the end, we would have used dash D semicolon instead. If there was a comma at the end, we would have used dash D comma and so on. Dash F1 means that we want to use the first field before the delimiter, which in this case is the IP address. This gives us a nice output without the trailing bracket. So you can see that combining the awk and the cut command, we can filter out almost any data from a log file. Let's take it a step further by only showing unique IP addresses. For this we will add the sort as well as the unique command as follows. Again we are going to use the same command but at the end, 
we can add sort and then unique. Great. We now have a unique list of IPs. But how many of each IPs do we have? Let's add the dash C option to unique to find out. The number to the left of each IP will show you how many times it appears in the log. So you can see that the 195.154 IP address appeared 10 times in the log. The 193 IP address 6 times and the rest once. To conclude, the AUK command is very powerful to search and filter out data from log files. If you use it in combination with some other common functions like cut, you are able to extract any data in any format you require. I hope this tutorial helped you learn a little bit more about the AUK command in Linux. Cheers for now. Do you enjoy my video tutorials? You can get more by subscribing to my YouTube channel, visiting my website at techpyluni.com or following me on Twitter at techpyluni.